on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. Call Jersey Central at 732-545-9282. Toll free at 888-545-9282. Watch Jersey Central live online at WCTCAM.com or listen on your smartphone with the iHeartRadio or TuneIn apps. Connect with WCTC on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube by searching 1450 WCTC. And now back to Jersey's Morning Show. Jersey Central with Burt Barrett. 737, we're back on Jersey Central on the new talk radio, 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. We'll do our contest coming up in just a bit. Tickets for Brad Garrett and Rita Rudner. A lot of laughs right there. Sunday, October 29th, 7 p.m., State Theater, New Jersey. Tickets at info, stnj.org. I'm going to give away a free pair of tickets coming up very soon. Uh, again, about the uh, Patriots baseball game last night, congratulations to them. They have a one-game, the none lead on the series. Uh, the pitcher, Mark Hamburger, right? And by winning the first game, they don't have to play catch-up the rest of this series. I told you the jokes would get worse, right? 732-545-9282 is our number. Well, September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and I have a special guest with me now on the Jersey Central new ma- Newsmaker Hotline who's here to talk about what men, yeah, like you and me, need to know about prostate cancer and what may put us at risk for prostate cancer. So let's welcome in a radiation oncologist, with Procure Proton Therapy Center, we have Dr. Edward Soffin, who is with us here on WCTC. Dr. Soffin, good morning. It's Bert Barron. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good morning to everybody. I understand that uh, next year, things uh, could potentially change for me. I will be 50 next year, so things in terms of my future health, uh, they say 50 kind of like uh, opens up a new chapter in a man's health, right? Well, yes, and I passed that just about 10 years ago also. <laughs> okay. And, it, uh, it is a time when men have to seriously start thinking about prostate cancer screening. You know, prostate cancer is a very big health issue in this country. It's the most prevalent cancer in men that's a non-skin cancer and affects up to 160,000 men a year. Now, screening studies have actually shown that you can improve the survival and mortality rates if prostate cancer is detected early. And 50 is about the time that men should start thinking about having a regular digital rectal exam and a PSA, which is a blood test, to see if they have early prostate cancer. So I agree that now is the time you should start thinking about getting your prostate cancer screening. By the way, if there's a family history of prostate cancer, we may want to dial back that age a little bit earlier so that men, perhaps in their 40s, may want to consider screening if they've had a first-degree relative with prostate cancer. Yeah, and uh, just the factors are, well, being 50 or older is one of the factors, and as you mentioned about having an immediate blood relative who had prostate cancer, and also just if you're an African-American male, uh, that also puts you in that higher risk category for getting the cancer here. Uh, Is once a if it's okay, that first test is okay, Dr. Soffin, is once a year pretty much the standard after that, or is it more frequently? You know, I think it really depends. I think once a year, if there's nothing abnormal in either exam, if there's some question, for example, if the PSA is mildly elevated or if it accelerates a little bit, you may want to check it a little more often. But I would recommend that you discuss that with your primary physician to see, or a urologist to see what level. But a regular screening, I think every one, you know, once a year would be perfect. And uh, five years of tremendous work, of course, uh, with Procure Proton Therapy Center. It, it's really garnered sort of an international reputation for being outstanding. You guys have served patients, uh, first of all, across our state and around our country. And I understand that uh, since Procure opened, and it's hard to believe it was March of 2012 already. It feels like yesterday that when the grand opening happened there. Uh, you actually have had patients, uh, Dr. Safin, that have come from overseas, that have sought out help from Procure Proton Therapy Center because of the reputation and and the services and the help that you offer people that might not be available in their country. So it's really an international company that uh, or an international attraction that Procure has become. That's right. You know, Proton Therapy, first I should say, you know, men shouldn't be concerned or, you know, they shouldn't be so worried that if they are diagnosed with prostate cancer that their lives are going to be dramatically affected negatively. You know, proton therapy is a type of radiation that so specifically targets the prostate gland and spares so much normal tissue that men can fly through their treatment 
with very little acute or even long-term side effects from treatment. So that has attracted people from around the world around and, and around the country because there are very few proton centers around. Um, they're large, they're bulky, they're expensive to build. But in those centers where protons are available, it really offers men a unique way of targeting the tissue, the prostate gland, and sparing a lot of the normal tissues around it. Well, over 3,000 patients and counting since 2012, uh, March of 2012, when Procure Proton Therapy Center uh, first opened up their doors. And uh, it's become renowned, doctor, and it's described as a culture of patient, patient-centric patient services, patient needs, and comfort are paramount. And when someone who is going through something like this, whether it's an actual uh, patient with cancer or a family member, a caregiver, having that hyper focus of attention on comfort and just try to put people at ease and understand that you're receiving some of the best care possible, that's got to help people get better to some extent. It just, just yeah. the level of caring has to help. Yeah, it's really crucial to have a warm, caring environment. We have very, very high touch. You know, it is a most difficult time in people's lives, particularly if they've come from afar, they're repositioned, they're, they're displaced. And, you know, I like to hear from people when they're done and they graduate. And by the way, we have a graduation ceremony every week. And people who have graduated five years ago, they still come back to congratulate the new graduates. It's like a big family. But we want people when they leave to say, you know, I, I'm going to miss this place. I'm going to miss coming. I'm going to miss the, the hands-on care that has been offered to me. And that's music to my ears. That means that not only did we treat them with the best technology, but that we treated with our hearts. What are the chances of someone saying, well, geez, I'm going to miss going to my cancer treatment uh, every week or every month or whatever. I mean, uh, you never thought you would have heard that in your lifetime. And, uh, I know. It's, yeah, it's, great. It, it's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I had the privilege a few years ago of meeting uh, one of your graduates there. And uh, he and I actually recorded a radio uh, commercial together that's aired all over the place. Uh, Bob Jones, I'll never forget his name. He came here, and he was a guy who is, was cancer-free. And he went through. He loved the, the uh, treatment that he received. He said the doctors were wonderful. And it was, uh, I guess it was uh, just a few years ago that he had sort of wrapped right. up and had his graduation. And uh, to this day, he is living a very full, very comfortable, and uh, just a great life thanks to the treatment and the care he received at Procure. That's that's like textbook right there, Doc. That's what right. it's all about. That's right, and you know, and we get to see him pretty much every week. He comes for graduation, as do many other men who have been treated over the past couple of years. They have this camaraderie of brotherhood, and uh, they meet, they have lunch together, and uh, it's it's a very interesting dynamic. That's great. So, someone who wants to maybe set up an appointment there, do you have to go through your regular doctor first, uh, Doctor Soffin, or can you go directly to Procure and and set up a, a, an appointment or a screening there? Yes, you can call directly. They'll, okay. set up a, they'll set up an appointment. We also have um, something called Welcome Wednesday. And uh, without even seeing a specific physician, if someone comes in with prostate cancer, one of the doctors who is there, sometimes it's me, sometimes it's one of my colleagues, will sit down with a group of men and talk about protons. We may specifically talk about their prostate cancer, but it's not an individual meeting. But sometimes there's three, four, five, six people and uh, it's just an informal discussion about treatment options and as well as protons. So very, very it's cool. a way of sort of not committing necessarily to a full consult, but just a way of coming in and, and exploring the option. Well, you and, and Dr. Sai and the entire staff there have been just, just incredible since the day the place opened. Uh, you've partnered Thank with you. us on many things. Uh, a lot of charitable groups that I work with uh, in our area, you know, there's Procure right there, lending their support and getting involved and, and really making a difference in our community. So it's really just uh, tremendous work that's been done. Let me give out the number if someone is interested. It's uh, 877-967-7628, or you could go online at Procure.com slash NJ, and you could talk to someone there and, uh, uh, the big five zero next May, next year for me, uh, doctor. So you maybe you'll get a call from me uh, coming up sometime in 2018. That uh, yep, Bert is 50 and uh, he needs to well, come see you. I hope it's only to discuss prostate cancer awareness and not prostate cancer treatment. I but. agree completely, absolutely, Doctor Soffin. Uh, congratulations to you and everybody over there. Of course, as uh, September winding down, it is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. And just uh, a difference that you have made in so many lives over the years uh, is really thank remarkable. So, so thank you so much, doctor. Okay. And thank you for the opportunity to spread the word. You bet. Thank you so much. All right, Dr. Soffin, my guest uh, on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. And again, for more information, Procure.com slash NJ. Jersey Central, traffic and weather time, 746. 
Traffic and weather every 10 minutes on Jersey Central. Let's get you caught up. Welcome back, Tom Colangelo. Pretty good so far. A little bit of volume on 287 exits 1 to 4, and then starting to slow again, getting over the road.